No, and no one understood why the cow was down there, you know. It's, um, it's a complete mystery because it's the complete opposite to where we said she was going. This day we went down there for because we were surprised the cow was down there and we thought something's gone wrong, you know. And we searched everywhere for her. I know that your soul must be upset, lonely at present, because we haven't found your body even though your brothers, me, and all the others have tried so hard. I'm so sorry that we haven't, dear. Yes, she'd left the lights on in the house. She had her washing in the washing machine and another set of washing in a basket ready to be hung out. It looked like she left her flat. She'd only thrown a jersey on and driven her car up to her garage. She bought a packet of cigarettes and withdrew $30, I think it was. Next thing is, nobody knew anything about it except the car. About an hour later, the car turned up at Wairaki. I know how badly he wants to find Fran. They stripped the, the police immediately the assumed that somebody had either taken the car with her and dumped her off at one of the reserve areas or on the way down. So Dave and me searched every reserve from Hamilton to Taupo. There's a big reserve here, just on the other side here where um, we spent a whole day, David, and me searching the place. What equipment did you bring? Oh, just, uh, just general equipment for um, when you go for a search, you know. So, um, sometimes a rope in case we had to lower ourselves down a cliff or something like that, you know. Search a lot of the land around here. Anywhere we thought that they could try to dump a body, you know. The search parties came the next, within a few days, and we went down and searched with them too, and left them to do the main, main part of the search. They didn't get anything that was really definite, other than the fact that the car was there and it had been left there with the door unlocked and then it just died off, you know. And so I went and bought a tent and that and I went down and camped in that little place for a few nights and searched that place from one end to the other and uh, no sign there. To me, I just carried on, you see. It was about six years I spent looking for her. In the first um, 18 months, I went down about 62 times. I had a surplus of around about 75,000 and it all went and I used my money out of my pension. You can't spend the, you can spend the time but you can't spend the, you know, can't fill the tank with petrol to go there and blah and that and all that sort of thing and still uh, carry on, you know. I, I still get my days when I'm sitting here and and I think about certain things and have tears running, but they're happy tears too, you know, because I think of the good times, you know. Yeah. No, I don't know. I just feel that some, uh, something should have gone right instead of everything going wrong, you know, and that just didn't. There's your mother, your two sisters, and my mother too. And a whole bunch of souls that in the past you knew. They are coming, Francie, to take you home. They are coming to take you home. God bless you. <laughs>